if I take my hospital, the new hospital, for example, where I work, we do mostly less paper. Most of it is on uh, computerized systems. But unfortunately, it is not linked to the network of the, of, of the patients. Welcome to this Spring Life and Health channel. We are privileged to have our own Dr. Sribo, Frank Sribo of the Ghana Medical Association, the current Vice President, uh, to help us answer some few questions that uh, we may have. Systems here are made to ensure that patients are followed, uh, patients don't fall through the cracks. Uh, if a patient came to the hospital with a, a elevated blood pressure or you know, anything of the sort that is emergent, you don't just treat them and leave them like that. You would want to follow up after some, you know, after initial treatment. What are the systems that you have in Ghana to, to ensure continuity of care? Uh, I must say you have a very robust system uh, and I know that your system is such that um, patients get alerts as to when they are supposed to come back to the hospital the practitioners are even alerted by the systems to let them know that their patients are due to take their medications and um, there is so much technology here unfortunately we don't have that kind of technology so we rely mostly on our patients to come back so that tells you that the probability that a lot of them will not come back is very high um, when you move to the district hospitals like where i work uh, there is some follow-up um, our community health nurses do some follow-up where they are able to trace the patients, they are able to go visit, do home visits and they are able to advocate for the patients to come back to the hospital. And so those are physical follow-ups that is done. Um, when the problem is that even this follow-up, there are difficulties because our address system is also a very, very big challenge. Um, we are trying to resolve that by this digital address system that is being pushed by the government but it's still not up there. So sometimes even for the community health nurses and of course the public health workers to get to these areas or the, where the patients live is sometimes a problem. Addresses are sometimes wrong. Telephones are not reliable simply because somebody may give you a number and that number is being used by a household. You call and then it's somebody else who is holding the number. So there are times that that doesn't also help that much. If you, you go to the bigger hospital, that is where even the bigger challenges because um, people come from all kind of areas, very difficult for you to be able to track them and follow them up. So without the necessary electronic um, gadgets or the systems that you have here to be able to track them and to let them know that they are due to come back for review, you likely will lose a lot of them to follow up. So yes, we do lose for patients to follow up. We don't practice reverse referral too very well. Ideally, if um, a patient goes to a bigger facility, let me take, for example, somebody leaves from Ebekwai to Konfanochi and uh, is treated for a particular ailment and the patient has to be followed up. That patient should be referred back, to, for example, to Ebekwai Hospital for Ebekwai Hospital to take up the follow-up so that we can do that because we live in the community. However, it mostly doesn't happen. It's on rare occasions that it happens and so those patients, if they appear, glory be to God. If they don't, that's it. And also, sometimes they don't appear for a long time. And the next time you see them, there are already complications. They are coming with um, emergencies. So it's, it's, a, it's a challenge. I think we will need to improve us. We don't know when we'll get there. We'll get to the level where uh, your computers will prompt you and tell you that patient A is due for refills or patient A is used to for blood pressure checking and so forth. We, and they even we are call not, you to remind and even call you to remind you for your appointment. We are, we are far from there. We, we are not there at all. <laughs> but I've seen, I've seen, I've seen that you have, you have uh, leveraged the use of mobile technology in your banking se system. The yes, banking sector yes, is using, it's using a lot of, a lot of yeah. yeah. Why yeah. can we um, leverage the same uh, technology? For you, you know, the banking system is still not, should I say, there are a lot of people who don't use the banking system in Ghana. There's a lot of people who don't use the banking system in Ghana. Um, is still limited to some level of, um, should I say, elitism, where people who have gone to school, people who live in bigger um, cities or people who work in recognized facilities are the ones who mostly use the 
the banking system. So the banking system though is coming up. I think we can leverage. It's something that we can do. But still, there are a lot of communities without even banks. So where do people keep their money? We don't know. So the point is that there are even the mobile phones that we have now, a lot, a lot more people have mobile phones. Right. Okay. And at least I think there should be a mobile phone in every household by now. One. You should expect that at least there should be one mobile one person, phone. Yeah. One person should own mobile phone in, in a facility now. Such that if maybe based on what we have, we are able to program it, work with the telcos, put in some kind of a message onto the system to remind the patient that your this thing is due, your your review date is three days due, and so forth, without charge. Without charge. Yes, the without charge. Because then, the patient is going to then that would be that would be be helpful, so that we, and we can put input it into our systems. And that would also mean that we need to make sure that most of these hospitals are hooked onto some kind of systems. Because we are still doing a lot of folders. We are now trying, Ghana Health Service is now trying very hard to go folderless in virtually all their facilities, but it's way, way, way down there. I mean, electronic yes, electronically, yes, yes. So it is way, way down there. Once we are able to do that, maybe the next level is to be able to link up with the telcos, the telecommunication providers, to be able to use our systems and alert patients. Once you put it in, Maybe then you just key in that alert patient three days to time and then or a week to time so that patient can get a, an SMS informing the patient that come in and that your review date is due. Until then, we still have to rely on this legwork and then hopefully I think, I think it's, it's we get them. Yeah. It's doable and I'm going to personally charge you. You are my brother. <laughs> I, should, I should champion it, huh? <laughs> to champion it. Uh, so there's a lot of yeah, uh, opportunities. I, I think, I think there are a lot of opportunities in that area. Your leadership yeah. uh, now in the yeah. Ghana Medical Association. I think there is a lot of opportunities. Yeah, I think that we should, we should do, leverage yeah. at least for the district hospitals all the way to the big mini, um, hospitals like. Uh, uh, you know, Confanochi, Kolebu, University of Ghana Medical yeah. Center, they, and they, all those big hospitals, uh, Cape Coast University work. Hospital, yes. and uh, of course the uh, teaching hospitals and all uh, over the country should be able to do something yeah. like that. There's, there's I mean, enough IT with the, that with the district hospitals together, we should be able to, do, be that. Able to do that. But that is what I'm saying, that it's important that the teaching hospital, the bigger hospitals, begin to do reverse referral. It helps. Once they do that, I mean, we, we the people get closer, and so even when the patient is not appearing after even all that these things that we've talked about, community health workers come moving and check on the patient and find out mm -hmm. whether really this patient, what is happening to the patient that he's not coming or she is not coming. So, I think we need to strengthen the system. So we'll get there. I mean, I think uh, the ideas uh, we are learning gradually, and we believe that uh, we'll get there. But we, 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 I think the time is is, is almost passing us by. We need to hurry up and get Definitely. to that level very soon. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, so um, I hope that the next time you come around in the United States when we have a similar interview, uh, most of these things would have um, improved. Well, I, I also hope so. <laughs> I hope so. hope so. I don't... I hope I don't come here again, hopefully next year, and start telling you the same things that I know. we've not gotten this, we've not gotten that, and that. We, we are improving. I think we, we, we should be able to do some of these things, yes. Because um, if I take my hospital, the new hospital, for example, where I work, we do mostly less paper, most of it is on uh, computerized systems. But unfortunately, it is not linked to the network. the network of the of the patients so you can send a message to your patient for example from the hospital so uh, i mean it's something that we should be able to do I mean, maybe if some it people are listening to us yes. maybe they can take it up as a project and That's see how they can think about my my it knowledge is too bad but i think mm -hmm. i have, you have an ideas. idea of how it should yes. work yeah you have the idea. And I think yeah. we were talking about what happens here um, off camera, yeah. uh, where I work, how systems do flow, you yeah. know, so easily you know, with, 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 with technology. So yeah. I think that, uh, like you're saying, if the government has to 
you know, because right, right now I'm pretty sure the uh, university institutions, they, they have internet portals and mm -hmm. stuff for, for students mm -hmm. to use. Yes. So yeah. it could be like a campus or a yeah. hospital with a, uh, you know, yeah. data center where um, the hospital itself can take advantage of connecting and contacting patients, especially with the way most households, most people who carry um, cell phones, we have to leverage that technology. Yeah, I, I have I have even said that with the taxes that we put on our communication tax, for example, mm -hmm. why can't we use it to make sure that deprived communities get free internet access? Yes. For example, yes. why can't we do that instead of um, still people who are even in very deprived areas still have to buy data and data is quite expensive in Ghana. So if, if we, we are taking these taxes, why don't we make sure that at least so that these kids in these um, communities, for example, can have access to the internet and they can learn virtually the same things that their folks who are in the big cities are doing. And your doctors down and information, you could also the, they can they also stay. have been <laughs> free internet access, be yeah. a booster. booster you get it. So place. I think it's something that we need to do that and see how, if it will be helpful. But uh, we need the cooperation of the tele telecommunication operators as well. I know it's uh, they are making a lot of profits and so some of them sometimes they should they should put some in, in there as well. Definitely. They, they could adopt hospitals and provide free data. Precisely. For them. Why can't they adopt hospitals for example and provide free data? Yeah. For the hospital uh, to use yeah, the yeah. patients. Yes. And uh, my brother, uh, hospital could be the first one. <laughs> yes, yes. We, do, we welcome them gladly. We will be very happy to have them in yes. the choir hospital. They should come. Yeah. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised how beautiful that place is. You don't have internet access. No, no, there's no free internet access. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> just, just nice buildings. Yes, yes, you don't have free internet access, of wow. course. And uh, you see, and, and the point is that um, it, it's, it's helpful because if you have internet access, you can have online libraries. Exactly. You get it. And um, quick, access easy these research access, data. research data, information, mm -hmm. quick um, readings, quick um even whilst the patient is with you you can do a quick check and make sure that your patient is managed appropriately exactly. however so you take your phone and you realize that you have no data you can't do any of these things oh you goodness. get it so i think that we need to get these internets uh, free internet in virtually all the hospitals and if they start with Bequire municipal hospital it'll be great it'll be great it'll we'll be, be great. very happy and uh dr frank is also, um, I think this is your last year as a vice president of Ghana Medical Association. Yes, yes, it's my last year, isn't it? <laughs> well, no, I want to, I want to make it my last year. I, I actually intend running for president, so um, hopefully, um, um, in, in November I'll be running for president. I, I, I don't know how it will go, but I'm confident, and I, I, I think that um, I've done a good job as um, the vice president. So. I'm not worried at all. I'm I'm very confident. Uh, the next time we'll be sitting here and we'll be talking, uh, my portfolio would have changed. And, and that's why I said your last year, I meant yes, that precisely. you could go up. Yes, precisely. <laughs> all right. Yes. So doctors out there who are watching, uh, please help my uh, brother, um, Dr. Frank, uh, if you do your elections to make sure he becomes uh, the, the president of the Ghana Medical Association during your elections. Um, I'm pretty sure that if you get that position, some of these things you could probably chat, especially with the internet. There are, there are a lot of there are a lot of ideas that um, I, uh, we, we do have that we believe could be able to be helpful to Ghanaians and of course to the doctors as well. And I, I think that as Ghana Medical Association, for example, we should begin to uh, move into the communities and help. Um, there, there's a lot of communities that, for example, need simple water, boreholes. Why can't Ghana Medical Association do that? Even if we are sinking two boreholes in a year for two communities, I think it's, it's something we should be able to do. There are hospitals that need simple equipment. Sometimes all they need is probably phototherapy for kids or babies who have jaundice. Maybe we should liaise with it, so liaise with other companies and make sure we get it for them. I, it saddens me to sometimes um, sit back and I hear that it's, it's people like um, Kwame Sefakai, I'm sure PSFM, he's the one championing the distribution of um, incubators. Yes. And I, I, I don't know why that should happen. I think that is a job that we should be doing. 
And so there are a lot of things that I intend doing. And for me, I think that um, um, as if if I, I I win and they selection, I think I will I'll set up a project and call it the President's Project, GME President's Project. And those are some of the things that I'll be doing. And I'm sure our members will be happy to know that some of their money is even going into providing theatre tables, for example, for hospitals that probably just need a theatre table. Now, if you have any questions that are not answered that you want to ask, you can put them in the comment section and uh, he is going to be able to answer them. All right. Thank you again. Thank you very and, uh, much. Good to see you again. Sure. Sure. Sure.